Mike Whitehead is a huge part of this band and, and has been a huge part of my creative life uh, since I've known him. I've known him since 2009, uh, met him at the Waldboro Jam Session back when it was at the Waldo Theater Annex. Um, he was a, such an amazing presence and continues to be an amazing presence. And he was one of the first guys I, uh, I asked to join the group. Um, as I said, I, I went to the jam session, I met him there, and subsequently saw him uh, doing a self-produced concert uh, celebrating the music of Charlie Beckler. Um, and I thought to myself, man, this guy is on to something. He's doing his own show, he's doing this really interesting music, I'm like, I can do that. And in, naturally he came as the first one um, that I asked to join the, the, the band, which at the time was a quartet. And he was, yeah, absolutely, I'll do it. And since then, he has been the best mentor. He's been uh, a big brother, an uncle, um, a real rock, and, and an anchor for me. He's talked me down from making some really bad decisions, um, like, <laughs> like quitting, um, and is one of these people who innately teaches without teaching. His presence is always very centering, um, encouraging, um, he's been such a valuable person to know and such a great giving individual and anyone who, who knows him and who has worked with him or just been around him knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, he has just been inspiring and motivation and I can't imagine this project without him being involved in it. I mean, as a horn player, as an advisor, as a musical director, as a producer, you know, I really lean on him for quite a bit. Uh, and it's been such a great relationship and such a great creative collaboration. Um, so many things I'm doing now are a direct result of conversations I've had with him and um, events that we've been to that have just led to these these really interesting ideas. And we're like, yeah, we can do that, and and, and we do it. So. Um, the success of this record is as much on him as it on. In fact, it should probably be called the Mike Whitehead Quintet. It should probably not even have my name on it at this point. Um, but there it is. Thanks, Mike.